All right, everyone, it is the next day. It's nice and cloudy and decently warm already. It's in the high 50s, low 60s, so I'm gonna go flip some tin and hopefully there will be snakes out. Yesterday was decent, but I'm hoping today will be a little bit better, so we'll see. Well, there's our first herp of the day. Nice eastern fence lizard basking on this tire. How's it going, dude? Another fence lizard. The reptiles are basking. Let's hope the snakes are out. Red belly. <laughs> That's cool. There you go. Yeah, that's my second red belly from this stack. Well, it's nothing crazy, but it is a snake. This is a little Florida red bellied snake, so a different subspecies than what we find in Georgia. Uh, we do get these guys in South Georgia, just not uh, not up north. But ever so slightly different looking than the ones we get back home. You can see he's got a little bit of a weird twin spotting thing going on down the back. But uh, we're kind of running out of tin. This is the first thing we flipped. It'll probably be the first thing y'all see today that's not a fence lizard. So I'm going to put him back in his stack and we're going to go hit the last couple of things. And then probably spend the rest of the day trying to find somewhere to dip net or hike in habitat. Just look at the belly. Not very vibrant compared to the ones we find at home, but still very interesting looking. There he is in the sun. He's a little bit prettier, but uh, we'll just let him slip back into the tin. There you go, buddy. Yo, that is a giant chicken turtle. Come back out. So we just ate lunch and we're heading to our next spot for the day when we cruise this girl. I'm assuming this is probably a gravid female chicken turtle because they are one of a very small number of very weird turtles. In fact, they might be the only turtle that nests in the middle of winter, which is a very interesting and unique strategy. But on the surface, they look pretty similar to sliders, but they are actually much more specialized and much more uncommon. Green. She is quite grumpy, but that is a beautiful turtle. These guys are ephemeral wetland specialists, and they like to crawl around a lot in the winter. Oh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. All right, all right, all right. They kind of, on the surface, resemble sliders, but you can see she's a little bit more smooth, and uh, their shells are just really, really interesting and super smooth looking when compared to a slider. Very, very cool. And they don't get too much bigger than that. They're a pretty small turtle. You kind of see her neck. She's coming out a little bit. Very cool. Not a turtle we've seen on the channel many times. In fact, this might only be the second time I've ever shown this species. Super uncommon, but this area we're in right now in North Florida is one of their strongholds. All right. I don't know where she's gonna go in there, but power to her. All right, so it's super dry out here and I already flipped this so I know what's under it, but check this out. That is a two-toed amphiuma. So this is actually a salamander for those who aren't familiar with amphiumas. They get quite big and this is not even a particularly big one and you can see he's probably two and a half, three feet. But that is really, really neat. These guys are super unique in that when it dries up, they can just kind of turn themselves into a goo cocoon, which this guy has not done yet. I'm sure if it continues to get drier and he is unable to uh, keep himself moist, he will enter that form of kind of stasis that they go into. All right, we're going to pour a little water on this guy. Actually, I'm going to cover him back up so he can conserve moisture and then pour a little water on him, which will hopefully buy him some time before he has to uh, cocoon up and turn into essentially a, uh, a ball of mucus and wait for the next flooding rain event. But really, really cool. Big two-toed amphiuma under a piece of wood. Really, really cool looking salamander. Look at those eyeballs. And here's another little dwarf salamander right past the amphiuma. We saw a couple of these yesterday, so we're not gonna bother him too much. 
good size one too. And a little bit further down, here is yet another one. Big old, this one's actually quite a bit bigger than the last one. Big old Amphiuma, number two. All right, this guy is sliming quite a bit, so we're just gonna let him go back under the tie. But very, very cool. Such an alien looking animal. And we'll give this guy a little bit of water like we did the last one. And there's plenty of water in the soil, but uh, these guys are fully aquatic, so they like to be submerged. And I'm sure any amount of help he can get, he can use right now because it is just so dry here in North Florida. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. That's number three. Oh, that's the biggest one yet. Look at that. And these guys can bite. They're probably one of the few salamanders, I would say, that you should not pick up unless you are prepared to receive quite the painful bite. All right. Pour a little more water on there. Look at that. Like a well-oiled machine. <laughs> so cool. So this is the same little pond that we visited last winter and found one Amphiuma. There was water in it, so I'm assuming the fact that it's completely dry now has contributed to the uh, fact we found three Amphiumas today. But uh, either way, really, really cool and interesting. And it's cool to have a reliable spot to flip Amphiumas. All right, well here we have a not as nice as the last one gray rat snake. But I'm just happy to see a snake on the road. It's been a pretty slow day. I think we've only seen the one red-bellied snake and maybe some Nerodia plop into the water. So I will take it. Let me get some photos of this guy real quick and then we'll get a better look at him. <laughs> sure. Very chill. The last, uh, the gray rat we saw earlier in the episode was not chill. He did not want to sit. This guy's just kind of dangling. All right, out of the road with you. Very handsome snake. All right, I'm gonna put this lady in the bushes over here, I think. Let's see if she wants to, there we go. Perfectly suited to clamber around in these bushes. Very nice. All right, well, hopefully that's a good omen. There'll at least be a couple of snakes on the road today, but we'll see. It's getting kind of late in the afternoon. Hey, look at that. We got a pygmy. Well, I was not necessarily expecting to road cruise anything this trip because it is late November and it has been very cold this fall, but I am not upset about it. That is really cool. Let me get a quick photo of this guy. And this road is cool to the touch. I'm really kind of surprised we've seen anything, but I mean, snakes got to move this late in the year to get where they're going, so. We'll get this little guy out of the road and keep moving. All right, we'll leave that guy to it. Really nice. And we got a corn snake. Look at that. A big one, too. Very nice. We saw a DOR a minute ago, but I wasn't expecting to see a live one, so I am very happy with that. Well, that is very nice. Very nice way to end the trip if we don't see anything else. A little bit grumpy, but understandably beautiful. Mm. It's got a kind of odd belly for corn. They normally have that checkerboard that they're named after, but this guy's just got like a weird pink transition. Very nice though. Third snake on the road today. Look at that belly, super unusual. I mean, maybe it's usual for Florida, but in Georgia, that is not normal. That is a beautiful snake, especially in this afternoon light. Just absolutely glowing. Well, we'll get some quick photos and get him off the road. Good looking critter. It's Josh definitely... has found this exact same snake crossing the road right here in the same spot. You can see that little chin spot right there is very distinct. Beautiful. Alrighty. We're gonna let this beauty go, but very nice, healthy adult corn snake. The pygmy and gray rat were a little bit skinny, so it's nice to see a big, healthy snake out today. 
Good stuff. All right. There she goes. It's all puffed up. All right, everyone. Well, that corn snake was the last snake of the trip. It was a fairly productive trip for only two days. Uh, the weather was pretty cooperative, and we had decent luck finding snakes at the places we expected to and places we didn't expect to. But honestly, I think the highlights for me were seeing that chicken turtle and the amphiumas because that, I think, is only the second time, maybe third or fourth, that we've seen a chicken turtle on the channel. I can only think of one off the top of my head, and it was one that we found that was digging a nest while we were flipping in South Georgia. I would have liked to have stayed longer, but we had to get back for Thanksgiving. Uh, we do have some pretty good weather coming our way this week in Georgia, so I'll be getting out a lot, and hopefully the snakes will be out. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.